Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back. And for those that are new here, my name is Laura. And today, well, actually it was yesterday, I went book shopping and it was not planned. I was supposed to be going to the mall to get something for a Christmas gift for somebody, but there was a Barnes and Nobles and I stopped in there and I figured why not take you guys along with me? So let's jump into the clips that I got yesterday and then I will show you my haul. Alrighty guys, so I know I didn't get to show you that much of me wandering around. I was there for a long time. I was not expecting to be there as long as I was, but I did pick up a lot of books and put them down. But these are the ones that I ended up with and I will go through them with you guys. So the first three we have here are part of a series that I actually read in a reading vlog for you guys. And it is books two, three, and four of romantic killer now this is a manga series and it is full color 
And I have to say the first one left me on the edge of my seat wanting to know more because it, it ended right where something good was about to happen and I wanted to see it. So I obviously had to run out and get the second one, but I saw that books three and four were there as well, but they only had one copy of each. So why not grab all of them? So that is what I did and I am so excited to jump back into this series. I will probably binge these three, that would be my guess. What I have to say about this series is it is cozy, it's fluffy, it's funny in ways, but some parts are also like a little bit cringy, but I still had a really good time reading it and I want to know what happens, which means it was kind of a hit for me. So that is why I got these three, again, super excited to read them. Cannot wait to jump back into them. I think it's funny in its own way, like I said, but a little bit cringy, but I don't know. I had a good time and that outweighed the cringiness for me. So we will keep going. And I know a lot of people who read manga say you need to give the manga like three volumes to see how you really feel about it. So here we are. We have the next three, which would mean I am giving it four volumes and I'm excited about it. So there are those. Now I did tell you guys, this is a series, another manga series that I started. And I did tell you guys that if I saw this book, I would pick it up. And it seems like they're going to be published, you know, kind of frequently. So I I am curious to get back into this one as well and see where this relationship is going. So this is The Ice Guy and the Cool Girl, Volume 2. And Volumes 3 and 4 also have their release dates out. But I don't know what they are off the top of my head at this moment. But again, I am going to jump back into this one. And, you know, this was another fluffy, cozy read. Just, I don't know, just a fun time. It's not anything... I would go out of my way to pick up but I did tell you guys if I saw it I would pick it up so here it is and I am excited to see where the relationship is going it is a co-worker romance so there is that then we have here so this has a story behind it and I actually was looking up graphic novels and like looking at reviews and things of that nature and this one came up on my computer as like a good new graphic novel and I was intrigued by it by the synopsis. Now I saw this at the store as you guys saw it was saran wrapped so I got it and I know saran wrap usually means like explicit content and this one on the back actually says warning parental advisory explicit content and it says mature. So I knew there was going to be explicit content but I didn't, I am not someone who would think it would be that explicit, you know, like being in a book and everything and like I don't know, I guess I'm just not aware of how explicit things could be but I took the saran wrap off this book and skim through which I am not going to like even open this book on this camera because there is very graphic explicit content in this book and that is the dangerous convenience store. I was never warned about how explicit content could be in books like this and granted it has a little like blur to it but it's like was there even a point of putting the blur in? It's, it's going to be like that. You know what I mean? So if you are not someone who likes explicit material, this would not be the one for you. And I, again, I was very shocked when I opened this book. Now I am going to give it a try because I heard the reviews were good. And obviously the synopsis intrigued me enough to pick it up. So I'm going to see how it goes. We are going to casually go into this one just to see how it goes. And I will obviously report back to you as to what I think of it. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm really nervous about this one. So there is that one. But again, the Goodreads reviews are phenomenal. And everything I've seen about this book has been amazing. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm hesitant, but we'll see. And then last but not least, the last book I picked up was actually recommended by one of you guys. So I am so excited about this one. This one is Coven by Jennifer Dugan and Kit Seaton. And it is a graphic novel. I've been picking up mainly graphic novels and manga. And guys, did I tell you how much I'm enjoying them? It's It's been a crazy obsession recently. I am loving them. I cannot get enough of them. I am just 
obsessed obsessed is putting it mildly honestly at this point but anyway there is this one and the artwork in this is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful I don't know I'm quite obsessed and I cannot wait to get into this one so those were all of the books that I picked up at Barnes yesterday so I just wanted to show you guys my haul and kind of what I got there and what I plan to read very shortly. So there are those. And of course, as always, if you guys have recommendations, please leave them down below. If you saw, I was going to get um, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. That has always been on my, it's been on my list for a long while. And it sounds so intriguing, but, and I picked it up. But then I put it back down and I feel like that's what I always do there for some odd reason. I do know though that it is on Kindle Unlimited. So I might give it a try there before I buy the physical copy. There was one other one that I picked up and put down. Uh, and I am completely blanking right now. But another one that I picked up in the graphic novel section that I put back down. And I instantly regretted putting this one back down before I left. That was Space Boy. And it was an omnibus, so it is a bigger edition and it contains multiple volumes. So it was volumes one, two, and three. And I put it down and I kept picking it up and putting it back down. And it like kept doing that and I should have just grabbed it. The artwork was absolutely stunning and the reviews are absolutely phenomenal for that one as well. So that is one I definitely plan to get if I don't purchase on Amazon by the end of the day. I don't know. It's on my wish list for Christmas, but we shall see. I know my husband is going crazy for me for as far as books go for Christmas. So we'll see. We'll see. But thanks guys for sticking with me for this video. Thanks for sticking with me through Barnes and Nobles and, you know, seeing what I got through the haul and hearing me babble on about all of this stuff and constantly talking about graphic novels now. But anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more bookish related content, make sure to stick around. I would absolutely love to have you but thanks again and I will see you guys soon